Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mornaris, aka Anthony Nunez, bringing you a slightly different series for this channel. It's a gaming channel. So, why are we on Trello? Well, I thought I would do something really cool for the incoming juniors to the high school where I graduated from the prestigious School for Advanced Studies right here in Miami, Florida. Number two in the state number six in the entire United States back when I graduated in 2014 and I just have to do a service for those incoming juniors and maybe even some of the seniors that uh, that are there right now as well as people coming in next year and the year after and the year after uh, SAS is a very <laughs> very difficult thing to get through because it is a dual enrollment program which uh, for those who do not know means that you basically take college classes at the same time that you take your high school classes and the cool thing about SAS is that you basically get to be full time at Miami-Dade College uh, here in Miami at the different uh, campuses such as uh, Kendall Campus, Homestead Campus, Wolfson Campus, uh, the North Campus and you basically take college classes in the morning or in the afternoon, depending on what campus you're at. And then you also take your high school classes to finish out your high school requirements. And if you play your cards right, by the end of your high school experience, you should be graduating with your associate's degree and graduating with your high school degree. And I think it's really cool because I did it. I uh, got to graduate twice in one month. And I must say, it's one of the most amazing feelings in the world once you actually make it to the end. But one of the most important things to making it through SAS, uh, you know, the AP classes, the college classes, making it through all those things is organization. So I decided to kind of make this small series. Uh, I actually really don't know how long the series is going to be, but I wanted to start it. It's called the E-Organization series. It's all about organizing electronically. Um... Uh, AKA basically you don't need any kind of physical things that you have to go out and buy or anything that you actually have to do physically. Uh, all the things that I'm going to be showing you guys are going to be online. Uh, I'm going to be talking about Trello today, for example, which is what, uh, you know, where I do the organization for my assignments and stuff like that. Uh, now that I'm in college and back when I was at SAS, as well as probably I'm going to talk about how I organize my Google Drive, uh, which is where I keep all my files and assignments and work. Uh, not just for school, but for all my personal stuff that I'm doing as well. And I think it's a very, very strong organizational tool if you really use it in the proper way. So I'm already three minutes in, been talking a lot about SAS and what's it all about. Again, this is really meant for the juniors and seniors of SAS. So if you are not an SAS person, uh, but you still want to learn about new organization, then welcome. I really thank you for taking the time to listen to my jabbering. And now let's actually get to the video. So here is Trello and here is how I have, you know, have it set up and I've kind of fiddled around with the system and you can really kind of do what you want, but I feel that this is really a good system. And for those of us, uh, in college, this is the way that it's going to look for you if you decide to follow my system. But if you are at SAS, uh, let me go back to the, to the boards menu, if I can actually, uh, go there we're actually have to go trello.com so when you pull up to trello.com this is actually what you will see and you get to make these things called boards and if you're at SAS you're really going to want to keep two separate boards one for your high school classes and one for your college classes otherwise you're going to have to scroll left and right and the important thing is that you want to be able to kind of take a glance at the screen and really kind of see what's going on so it's better to have to switch boards for college and high school than to have everything under one board and have to scroll left and right because then it kind of defeats the purpose of being able to take a quick glance and kind of see what you have to do when it's due, uh, the kind of stuff that you have to do, anything you're missing that you have to add since last time you looked at your Trello. Uh, I think that a very cool thing to do with your Trello is actually just have it set as your home page. So for example, uh, you might want to set your high school as your home page because the motto at SAS is you are first a high school student and only then a college student. So you have to worry about your high school first. It's very important. So I'm going to head over to my academic board. Since I'm a college student, I don't need two boards, but it's basically kind of the same system. You're just going to apply it 
uh, for both things. So the first thing I have here is upcoming events and things. Uh, this is very important for keeping track of your classes and the stuff that you're doing that is extracurricular or stuff you're doing with your friends that is beneficial to your academic experience. And so basically just keep track of events that are happening at the college, at the high school. And I would usually just keep these under the high school board because basically just events are kind of just a general thing and I just let the college board be specific to college. The next thing is exams. Now, when you're in college, it's really easy to keep track of your exams. For example, here I have my designing web pages, uh, assessments, and exams already set up, and I have my differential equations uh, stuff already set up here because basically you get it in the syllabus, you know when the exams are going to be. Uh, in high school, it's a little bit more difficult to actually really know when your exams are going to be, so you really want to be on top of uh, when your teachers are saying that they're going to be giving exams and as soon as you find out the official date for the exam do go to your Trello add it to the board on the exams list these are called lists these things right here are called lists and the things inside are called cards and so you're gonna make a list for your exams and as you get them you're gonna put them onto your exams list in chronological order meaning in the date that they're meant to be done so a Wednesday test will go before a Friday test in the same week and so forth so okay cool so now we know about our exams basically for college your college classes just you treat them like college classes you treat them exactly like this when you get your syllabus most professors will tell you when the exams are gonna be when the quizzes are gonna be they might be like hey you know every Friday we're gonna have a quiz and so basically just keep track of these things keep track of the content as you can see here here in my exam to differentiate between them I use the class ID uh, for example designing web pages is COP 3835 I use those to differentiate between them because they're all under a common list and I also usually if I know exactly what the test or quiz is going to be about I will put that right up front for example here we see that the designing web pages assessment one is for chapter one and two so a cool thing is we can actually click on this little pencil on the top right corner and it'll bring up kind of this editing menu you'll have such options as edit labels move copy change the due date you actually press on change due date and it can actually set the due date for the assignment I think this is really cool and when you save it'll actually show you the date right up front and it'll show you a little clock letting you know that that's the due date but you'll also see these little like it's kind of like a paragraph marker so the way you access that information is by actually clicking on the card and it pulls up this kind of dashboard for that card and what you're able to do from here is that you're able to access the due date you're able to access the labels and now labels are really cool they actually allow you to add these kind of colored labels you can actually edit a label and give it a title so um, I use a very specific system I use green for doing so if I'm doing something I'll slap a green label on it and if it's an exam I'll slap the black label on it and if I'm and if there's like a reading or a homework assignment that's very very important for a quiz or test I'll slap the purple for a quiz which basically just means for a quiz or exam uh, on it so that I know that anything with a little purple marker on it means that this thing I really do need to focus in on but then specifically I use a really interesting system where I have blue kind of this light baby blue which basically means it's just very unimportant I don't really have to worry about it if I don't want to we move up to yellow which is okay this isn't particularly important but it is noteworthy and you really do want to try to do it uh, if time allows orange means that okay now this is important so you should do it because it's either going to be for a test at some point or it's going to be for the AP exams or it's going to be for all kinds of really cool stuff and finally we have red which means this is absolutely necessary this is a test this is a quiz this is a project this is a homework assignment that will be collected for a grade or multiple grades reds you have to do so basically you slap labels on stuff and kind of give it a ranking so is it orange is it red so and what that allows you to do is besides that you also have this description thing here that you can actually edit and we also have this really cool feature called checklist which I will show you actually a little bit for so anyways the point is that you can actually add these and then when you're looking you know kind of at a glance you can see what's red right so obviously everything under the exam is gonna be red right I do it on purpose because it kind of just drives the point home red black tests look at them look at the dates see when you have a test upcoming 
orange, right? So orange is kind of my differential equation homework. Like I sh really, really should do that because there is going to be a quiz at some point and I really do want to be ready for that. Uh, here I have red, right? Do the safety certification for electrical safety for my logic design lab. And, you know, that's going to be a red, right? I have to do that. Otherwise, I'll get dropped from the lab. So I have to do it. I don't get a choice there. But then we have like a yellow, right? This isn't as important. I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's noteworthy. It's answer the questions for lab one. Professor, uh, I mean, the lab instructor said that we should answer the questions. They're not going to be collected, but we should just answer them because we're going to discuss them in class. So I put a nice yellow on that just because I see that if I really don't get around to it, it doesn't really make a lot of a difference uh, because we're going to be discussing them in class anyways. So it's okay. And here we see the green. Uh, basically, I'm working on this. I'm working on this. And what you'll see about the checklist is the following. You can actually add attachments such as files and links. And you can also make checklists like parts of the assignment or chapters in the test. And you can actually rename this. You don't have to rename a check. I mean, like you don't have to name a checklist. You can just name it whatever you want. And basically here you can see that I already completed the modules. I printed the certificate. And now the only thing left for me to do is to actually hand it in during the second lab. And once I'm done with this assessment or test or homework or whatever, I can just come here to the archive button and just delete it. And so I'll just delete the cards as I'm done doing them. You can also do this by pressing on the pencil and pressing archive. So as you can see up along the top, I have a list for each class. Uh, classes that have labs, I just put them together just to clean it up a bit. And again, we have the upcoming events, exams, and then the classes. As you work on things, slap the green label on them. When you're done, just toss them out. Again, uh, baby blue means it's not important at all. Yellow is nor uh, noteworthy. Orange is important. And red is absolutely necessary. Black are exams. And purple are things that have a higher priority for a quiz than other things. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that Trello helps you as much as it helps me. Uh, I should really note that if you have a Google account, you can actually log into Trello via Google. You actually don't have to make an account. Uh, I know that Miami Dade College provides Google accounts, and I know that most people have a Gmail account anyways. You can actually just uh, sign in with your Google. That's what I do. Keeps everything nice and easy to get into. So again, thank you. As I said, uh, do use Trello. I mean, you don't have to do it exactly this way. Do it however you want to do it. This has been Moneris, a.k.a. Anthony Nunez, bringing you a e-organization video so you can keep things organized. I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day.